hello there. Today, in this historic special, we're going to have a look at one of the most ancient buildings in Newport on Tay, a building that sat here for the best part of 100 years. It's the Yellow Castle. Best viewed from Castle Bray, the steepest street in Scotland. It was built by local architect man George Just. Famous architects from all over Europe came to admire the work that was done on the castle. And even now, a visit to some of the major cities of Europe, such as Paris, Prague and Pudsey, you'll still be able to see some of the influences of the Yellow Castle. In between the two world wars, the castle was a site of many a battle. The most significant of these happened on the night of the 14th of February, 1925. An army from Wormut came to invade the castle and make it part of Wormut. It was to become known as the Six Hour War. It was a cold, still night. The moon lit the silvery tay. The cold night had left the surfaces slippery and treacherous. An early sign that maybe tonight was not the night to invade the castle. The one minute army gathered here in numbers of eight people and started heading their way up this dirt track towards the castle. Their sole intent to capture the castle and bring it in to the boundaries of Wormut and also to paint it purple with pink spots on it. The battle raged for six hours, apart from a short time when the now infamous story of the 30 minute ceasefire took place. Both sides shook hands and had a short game of curling in Berry's Den before battle commenced. At its height, the battle could be heard in Dundee. In fact, some say it was heard as far away as Broughty Ferry. After six hours, the battle weary Wormut army retreated. They'd lost their attempt to capture the castle. From now on, Wormut would have to be named Wormut, a borough of Newport on Tay. They would also have to pay for a brand new coat of yellow paint for the castle. And to add insult to injury, the soldiers who invaded were captured and brought back across to do the paint job themselves. Since then, the castle has become more of a bohemian residence, with famous artists passing through and staying in the property to gain inspiration, sometimes leaving a portrait of themselves, such as Van Gogh, Dali, and Maxi. Inside the castle, all the original features remain. The property is lit through this wonderful dome window that brings light into every room. The balcony also remains intact and even now is known as one of the finest balcony examples of its time. How nice. Why not? Let's have a look around. fantastic tour and who wouldn't want to live here with the views, the features and the garden. And you know what? You could. Rooms are available right now and I'm really not joking. Get in touch and we'll let you know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of New Portante, a place to be. We'll see you the next time. Bye for now.